hello. Welcome once again to Something's Things Plays. <coughs> well, hello. Welcome once again to Stuff Things Plays. I'm your good friend Bradley, and today we are going to do another one of the, I think, Nutty Professor missions. Uh, I noticed that there is a waypoint, or not a waypoint, but a marker for Professor, the mercies of knowledge. Um, we need to find moonshine for the weirdo who's trying to make some sort of machine. I don't know exactly what's going on. In the last episode, we saved Tilly, and we had that other stranger mission with the chain gang dudes. Um, and I was going to run back to camp, but I realized that this little marker was right here, so I figured I might as well figure out what's going on. So let's do it. And a train's about to come. It's going to be really loud. Oh, Hello. Hello. <laughs> All right, let's go talk to this dude. Arthur's still wearing his ridiculous Hello. finery. Hello. There should be more polite Glad people. You dropped in. I've got that uh, information you asked for. Hey, Alden. I'm about to talk to this man. Good morning. Sir, good morning. You All should right. well, look out. There's been some trouble around here. <sighs> you stay safe, all right? That's weird. Why is he warning this man? Partner? Hello there. Some real beautiful country around this area. <laughs> this guy gets his kids up and leaves. See, I, I want to do this because it. Oh, see, see, it gives me more honor. Good morning to you. Say what you want about the people around here. They're friendly. Look at that man's face. All the best now. Bye bye. All right. Look like clay that had been slightly melted in a kiln. All right. Let's talk to Alden and see about some moonshine, shall we? Howdy. Ask about moonshine. Um, I need something more specific this time. A wagon full of moonshine. Well, you might just be in luck. Alden knows I everything. I knew I picked the right feather to speak to. Inspect the note from your satchel to find out the details of the robbery and to mark the location on your map. Read the Blue Water Marsh Coach robbery note. Will do. There it is. Read it. Bridge in Blue Water Marsh, north of St. Denis. Look for a wagon coming south. Should be carrying a load of moonshine bottles in the back. Drive careful with it. X. How do you like my Alden impression? Pretty damn good, I should say, if I don't say. All right, so... Uh, oh, there we go. We should have a marker on our map, and we can go steal some sh- uh, uh, that's a tree, Arthur. There you go. Stop. Look at your map. Should be by Saint-Denis. This is it right here, I guess. So I don't know if we're waiting in ambush or what, but it looks like it's going to be a bit of a long ride. Oh, yeah, and I have this other weird horse. I do, uh, do want to go back and get Isabella. I don't want to keep riding this crazy horse. Get over here. Bella would have been here two seconds ago. Stupid horse. Let's go, girl. Spot. I mean, he has spots. Makes sense. All right. We're not going to this robbery first. Foist, we're going back to my... G oh, man. All right, we're going back to my Galdern camp so I can get my Galdern horse back because I'm sick of this nonsense. Hello, sir. Let's go. That's a good girl. There's a girl. Who goes there? Good girl. There we go. That wasn't too long of a ride. Easy. And here we are. Okay, horse. It's been real. Good day to you. There's Bella. I see her right over there. Watch out, horses. Bella! Hey! Love you, girl. You get a little... You get a brushing now. You done good, girl. Good girl. Ah, oh, it's so good to have her back. All right, I'm hungry. Super hungry. Come on. Satchel. Use the old satchel. Let's eat some cooked beef. Excellent. Okay, now we will mark the moonshine robbery which is over here. We will go to this area here. Looks like we have to ride through Saint-Denis to do that, which is kind of annoying. All right, horse, you just, you stay there. Can I tell you to stay? Appaloosa? Uh, don't follow me. Don't. Hey, it's following me. Oh, horse, seriously. 
What are you doing? How come I can't tell it to stay? I'm gonna give you a pat because you're a nice horse. I don't Easy like you. I mean, I like you okay, face. but I don't love you like I love Bella. Let's lead this horse. Nope. Ugh. All right, I'm gonna tie this thing up. I'm gonna be stuck with it forever. I still have that Hungarian half-breed around somewhere too, probably. <clears throat> Come on. Come on. Here we go. Easy now. Now stay. Hit you up. There you go. Okay. Bella. Let's go. Bye. Where's the camera? Okay. Now we're on our way. <sighs> All right, girl. Shit. It's another stranger. What's going on? Oh, yeah? Stupid Lemoyne Raiders. Where the hell is my frickin' shotgun? Varmint, rolling block, double barrel shotgun, pump action shotgun. You're in this state for the federal government. You're an enemy. No! Ugh, wrong. Okay, here we go. Put it in the wrong place. Varmint rifle, rolling block, double barrel shotgun. I don't want this here. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, put that there. This is my pump action. There we go. Wait, no, I ain't kidding. Yeah. Don't you? There! You're welcome, sir. Be about your day now. These Lemoyne Raiders are sons of bitches. Look at that hunk of meat that blew off him. Bastard. Loot this bitch monkey. Platinum pocket watch, nice. Look at this. Oh, this is one of the dudes he killed, so I can't loot him. Oh, man, they already murdered somebody. I only saved one dude. That kind of sucks. Bella was upset. Oh, there she is. <laughs> I thought maybe there was an alligator around. All right. You can never be asleep at the wheel when you're riding yep. around, <clears throat> especially in Lemoyne. It seems like the raiders are way more prevalent than the O'Driscolls yeah. were in the Heartlands area. Anyway, let's be on our way. this awesome causeway. I love the scenery around here. I don't know why I'm speaking so slowly. This looks so cool. Uh oh, uh oh, scary. Watch out. Oh, Jesus. Made me leave the road. We're still in cinematic mode, so Arthur is in control. I guess this is right near where Black Bell was when we uh, helped her defeat the bounty hunters who were coming now, after her. Where's this shine? Okay, wait for the wagon. So I'm going to be the troll under the bridge here. Hopefully there aren't any alligators around here. And which direction is the wagon going to be coming from? Maybe, I guess it doesn't matter if I'm just out in the bridge. Should be fine. Um, pump action shotgun. We're just going to wait here and see what happens. I don't want to kill anybody. I don't want... Oh, is this it? Okay, I guess we're, we're going here. I don't need to kill these people, hopefully. I might end up killing them. I don't want to kill them. Okay, let me talk to him first. Hey, out of the road. A uh, word of warning. I seen a big old gator just sitting in the road up ahead. I think we'll take our chances. I want to mislead. Can I mislead again? Whoa! Jesus Christ! Bella! Are you alright? Okay, that guy's gone. Okay. Okay, here we go. Well, that was an interesting turn of events. They just ran over my horse. Bella, okay, we gotta go. I don't know how we can do this. I guess I could lasso him. Lasso him? I don't know why I keep saying lasso. I'm supposed to say lasso. Lasso is the better thing to say. Oh, shit. You ain't ah, Jesus! Okay, that didn't work out. I gotta shoot him. 
Bella! Careful, Bella! Oh my god, that guy's a real freaking good shot. I didn't want to kill you. Leave me no choice! Go, go, go. These are moonshiners, I guess, so they're criminals. I guess that's why this isn't a horrible thing for me to be doing. I mean, if we want to do some moral equivalency here. Oh, he's back! He got his horse back. Reload, Arthur! Jesus Christ! Oh my god. Okay. Reload the- Oh, she's upset. She's upset. Bella, Bella, Bella. Put your gun away. Talk to your- talk to your horse. Bella. It's me. Whoa, whoa, good, good. Okay, you're okay. Whoa. Just calm down now. Let me give you a little brushing. Whoa, girl, easy. Bella, it's okay. Relax. There you go. Okay. Now I think I can loot these dudes with impunity. <clears throat> They are Lemoyne Raiders. Oh no, the horse. Oh no. Oh no, I, I guess I could revive it. I do have some horse reviver. Or I should just put it out of its misery. Oh, this is horrible. Oh, okay. There you go. Sorry. I didn't mean to shoot you. You okay? Why don't you, you better run off, okay? Go, boy! Go! Be free! <laughs> you had horrible owners. Now you're free. Ugh. I don't like killing horses. Men! <laughs> Kill as many as I want. Alright, there's gotta be another corpse around here, wasn't there? Leave no corpse unlooted. Uh, yes, there's one right here. Look, like a bait shop. I should go check that out at some point. We need to do more fishing. We need to do a bunch of schniz in this game. My friends, there are many things that we need to do. I already looted this one. Um, hunting legendary animals, fishing for legendary fish, all that nonsense. Oh, there's one right here, too. Were there four dudes in, in total, I guess? Seems about right. Oh, look at this! Look at this! It's a big snapping turtle! Oh my god. Uh, let me look at my compendium really quick to see which the best way is to kill this thing. Uh, bow with arrows is considered the best weapon. Okay. Okay, okay. Is this a good one? Okay, get out. I just want to do one button press to get out of the compendium, please. Ooh, it's a really nice one. Okay, Bella, Bella, come with my, my bow. My bow, Bella. I'm gonna steal this wagon in a minute. Bring my bow, horse! Look at this frickin' turtle. This is awesome. Hello, Bella. Give me my bow, please. Uh, I would like... Oh, God damn it. Where is my bow? There it is. Give it to me. Okay. I feel bad. This thing is so slow, but, you know. Okay, let me see your face. <laughs> I'm assuming I want to shoot you in the face. Okay, stay there, Bella. Beautiful. I feel kind of bad, but you know, it's a three-star alligator snapping turtle. Let's see how the skinning process works here. Ooh, the soft underbelly. Oh, it's like a trap door. Just unhinge that thing. What about the shell? Don't I get the shell? Okay, I'm gonna pick up the old, the whole carcass. Here you go, Bella. <laughs> Would you like to have a turtle on your back? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, come on, Bella. We gotta go. We gotta bring the moonshine to the professor, and then we'll go by the butcher while we're there. I should bring this, actually... Hmm, I wonder if I could use the turtle, the perfect turtle carcass for something with Pearson. Because he can make things. Um, let's see. I might need to go in reverse here. Let's go. 
Let's go. Just roll right over that. Oh, watch out, Bella. Bella, watch out. Okay, here we go. Get on a nap. Okay, come on, Bella. She's coming. She's coming. A lot of logistical things going on here. But we're heading back into Saint Denis. I'm gonna check. I don't know if I have. To, I guess I actually have to be in camp to talk to Pearson. But if you bring Pearson perfect hides, then you can eventually get satchel upgrades. I think, but I don't know if that counts for turtle meat and or shells. I'm not sure. Ah! Whoa! I know the trapper makes things out of legendary animals. I don't think he'll make him out of normal. I don't know. I don't know exactly how it works. It's something I haven't delved into far enough. Ah! This causeway is a little narrow. But it's freaking cool, man. All right, I feel good about that. I hate the Lemoyne Raiders, so I'm glad that we were able to steal over 100 gallons of moonshine from them. They were constantly... It's one thing to be criminals, but they seem to constantly be just executing people in horrible fashion. I don't like that. Look at her with her little... She's got a shell on her back. She's a little ninja turtle. Oh, Bella. I am tempted to buy that black Arabian and have a brother and or mate. Well, not and. A, a mate or brother for Bella. I think that would be awesome. Seemed like his stats were slightly better too, which kind of makes sense because it was possible to get Bella so quickly in the game. And here I'm assuming you had to be into Chapter 4 to have access to the Black Arabian. Okay, let's slow it down a little bit. What's possessed you? So, I got your moonshine. Oh, I'm here already. Cool. Well, what the hell is he gonna do with this stuff? Wonderful man, wonderful. <laughs> you got my money? It's it's for a very good cause. Uh, my name is Professor Andrew Bell the Third. Perhaps you've heard of me. <laughs> Can't say that I have. Oh, I'm an inventor. Uh, maybe you've read about me. <laughs> Can't say that I have. Uh, I don't oh. read much. Oh, oh, well, that's too bad. Oh, yes. <laughs> you got my money. <clears throat> oh, well, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Better pay me, oh, buddy. You, sir, have done a great All deed. All I've done is get some creep a lot of drink. <laughs> creep is excellent. No nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable. A way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls. A way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, so, so humane. What are you talking about? Is he about? making a... The electric chair. What? Okay. It's a chair full of electricity and quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners uh, to face judgment. Yes. I wonder if this is actually the guy who invented the electric chair. Well, uh, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration, a public one. Oh no, uh, he's gonna make me uh, get somebody to kill. Do you know the police chief? Hmm? As well as anyone. Oh, wonderful. Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate this the This guy's chair. a maniac. It will help bring this town into the next Look century. Look how dirty I am, man. Yes, could, could you do that? Hmm? Okay, so I don't get to have any money yet. That's annoying. All right, before we do that, we've got business to take care of. We got Bella here. We've got a turtle. So we could eat... Oh, okay, God. Okay, come on. Stop this time. We could either go... Who's this? Charles Chateau. Oh, the artist. Oh, there's a commotion involving him. Okay. And then we've got Brother Dorkins. He was the guy who Swanson told us about. The monk who's collecting alms for the poor. We have the professor here with the police chief. Man, we're opening up quite a few cans of worms here. And then we've got more Leopold Strauss. Okay. And I don't see any other strangers or anything like that. I wanted to check the butcher in Saint-Denis. It's right here. Or we could head all the way back to camp and see if giving this to Pearson would have any effect. It's kind of a ride, though. I kind of want to stick in Saint-Denis because there are other things to do here. Let's just go to the butcher. I'm sure I'm not going to get that much money for this stuff, but whatever. Excellent, excellent. Let's go. Okay, I think we're near the butcher. 
I've got something for you. Where is the man? Ugh, okay, here we go. Hello, friend. Hello, you look hungry. Do I have to be standing on the other side? No, for God's sake. Okay, come on, Belly. Thanks for your assistance. Let's go. I've got flies surrounding my snapping turtle. Why do you have problem with me? Shut up, man. Okay. I've I've just got I just killed the thing and I've got flies all around it. Let's sell. Okay, bear claw. I'm gonna keep that. I like that. A squirrel tail. Why do I have a squirrel tail? Lucky, this is popular. How Turkey feathers, eagle talon. I don't know. I don't know what I need with with this stuff, but I might keep it for now just in case. Animal fat, salted beef. Uh, I want to keep that. Okay, herp meat. That gives me nothing. So I could cook that, but I'm not gonna spend the time <laughs> to do that. Dime a dozen these days. A perfect snapping turtle carcass gives me 113. Rare. Work this clean. Real good doing business with you. Thank right. you for your custom. Let's go, girl. That was exciting. I probably should have brought that to Pearson. Okay. So now, we have got the artist Charles Chatonnet. We have Brother Dorkins. And we have the professor, and my eye is twitching. Have you ever get that when your bottom eyelid just like twitches like crazy? I don't know why it's happening. It drives me crazy. Okay, since we're kind of in the middle of the professor thing, let's keep doing that. We'll see if we can find some poor soul who's about to be executed, I guess, and put him in the electric chair. Hopefully it will be humane. Um, and then, well, I guess we'll try to wrap up some of the other stranger stuff in the city while we're here. Love riding through the city. I would, I really want to be in the wide open range, though. I would love to be back in New Austin area. Take a pamphlet. It might just change your life. Uh, from Red Dead 1. And I know if we can go to Blackwater, we can probably go to Armadillo and all those towns from Red Dead 1. Really like texas -y or Arizona-y. Pure. Oh, eugenics. Revolting, vulgar, this, so this was blah, blah, blah. all creation. Mingling. Yeah, yeah. Around the turn of the of the 20th century, eugenics Nature. was scientific consensus, basically saying that the races. Like I'm not going to get in all of it now, but it's kind of based on racism, and it's bullshit. And this, being America, and this guy's a piece of crap. Nature's paradise on Earth. But it's funny to me that people always we talk about scientific consensus, like, oh, scientists all agree on this, like. You know, whether or not you agree with climate change, well, you pretty much have to agree that climate change is occurring, but I think it's still up in the air as to whether or not humans have ha have a huge effect on it. But people say, oh, it's scientific consensus. But <clears throat> during the early 20th century, it was scientific consensus that eugenics was true, and eugenics is complete nonsense. I'm going to talk to this asshole. Hello? I'm trying to talk to you. Someone's got their head in the clouds. Is he running away because it's raining or something? What's going on? I wanted to yell at you for being a jerk. Maybe it's too late or it's raining or something. I was hoping to have an, an angry exchange with the dick. Whatever. Let's keep going. Man. Crazy storm. Maybe it'll clean Arthur off a little bit. He was pretty dirty. We are heading for the police station, which is... I need to learn this city, man. It's big. It's very big. I don't know my way around. Okay. We hitch the old horse. Get permission to demonstrate electric chair. You know, there's a hitch right there. Why can't I hitch? There's a hitch. Why can't I do it? Because the stupid cart's here? Oh, for God's sake. Never mind, just wait there, Bella. Let's go inside. Hello! So welcome to our home. Jeez, who the town. hell do you think you are? Hiya. I can't possibly help you if you don't tell me what you need. Well, you need to come over here so I can actually ask you. It's not giving me a button prompt yet. 
What can I do for oh, you? Can I go inside? Is that okay? Howdy. Chief, I'm representing the inventor of a humane execution machine. An electric chair. And he, uh, he wants to demonstrate his invention here. Ah, I'm familiar with the man and his work. Tell you what, I'll give you a permit. A permit to kill somebody? It's cost you $100 in fees. I better make more than a hundred dollars, my friend. Oh, I should have negotiated. They had the option to negotiate. God damn it. Okay. Well, the price is fair. Here you go. And here, sir, is your permit. A pen and unusual formalities, of course, such as uh, finding a suitable candidate for humane. Don't you have somebody in the jail? I'll tell that to the professor. Good luck. Or are we just supposed to select somebody? Whoa, why did I jump back like that? Howdy. Officer, how are you? <laughs> you got the permit. Anything I'm else? talking to this officer. Thank you for keeping the peace. We need more like you. Goodbye now. <laughs> well, that was me thinking you was in a rush. Yeah, shut up. Arthur does not sound very sincere when he is, uh... Complimenting the cops. Whoa! Okay, here we go. Bella! Isabella, let's go see the professor. I don't know the wakes. I don't know the city. He's over here. Bam. Oh, you know what? I just noticed something. There's a show right here. Uh, what kind of show is it? Is it vaudevillianish? Do you want to go to a show? Do you want to see a show? I kind of want to see a show. I hear music. Dramas, comedies. Let's see. What does it say? A strong repertoire of dramas and comedies. Right up to date vaudeville acts. Popular prices. Excellent. Let's do it. I think this will be fun. Wait here, Bella. Look, I'm all dressed. For, oh. I'm all dressed for the show. Oh. I'm all dressed for the show. <laughs> Let me in. Oh my god, how do I get in here? Here? What the hell, man? Uh, what's the deal? Oh, okay, there we go. Hello. Howdy. Are available if you are interested. Look at this place. This is awesome. I will buy a ticket, please. What does it say? Antoinette Sanseverand? I need a ticket, please. Please. For Sar Severin, Through those Sam Severin? double doors. Uh, can I go in the balcony? Look at how opulent. It's gorgeous. Where am I hearing it coming from? It's weird. Okay, that's the ticket counter. There's a bar. I guess this is the show. Huh? Look at this. Oh my god. Okay, let's get up pretty close here. Yeah. Are there any seats? Not there. Okay, I guess we'll go sit next to this woman here. Hello! Yes, thank you, thank you. Can thank I sit? You. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. I can't sit. I am your host, Aldridge T. Abington. How do I sit? Thank you. Yes, Aldridge T. Abington. Few men have had a career more crowded with incident and various intercourse with the world oh, here we go. than I. During extensive travel through this and foreign lands, okay, let's watch. I have procured a show so fantastical there exists nothing like it anywhere. In an effort to bring this entertainment to even oh, I can cheer. the poorest Dreamer of dreams. See this? I have determined <laughs> that the ticket price should be very low, and the show held without a profit. To me, it's true. No For it is cares. blessing enough to bring <laughs> these gifted artists <clears throat> to you. Yeah, let me cheer. I, want I to cheer. discovered this next that? act in a tiny <laughs> village so in great. Italy. Truly, the most exotic of places in the world. He was just a 10-year-old boy. I raised him. 
I bathed him. Yeah. I shaved him from head to toe. <laughs> what? Bring it. He is truly a wonder to behold. Presenting. Is it a hairy boy? Benjamin a little hairy wolfman boy. A little wolf boy. Dog boy. Come on. Chip boy. Monkey boy. Let me see him. No, he's a magician. Ooh, look at that, honey. He's clapping. That in this mortal coil we are all born to suffer from all manner of maladies in daily life. Who Arthur has his eye on the woman. Or loved one near death's door from coal gas fumes, typhoid fever, diphtheria, or the bite of a rabid animal. The greatest wealth is your health. All the gold in the world cannot purchase it, and yet it is the most delicate. I can't seem to look at anything but the assistant right now. Gifts, and nothing knocks down death's door faster. What if I antagonize him? This. <laughs> A man cannot outrun a bullet. Many fools have tried and failed in this endeavor, including the tonic salesman I caught betting my wife. I joke. I joke. <laughs> I assure you, he has met his maker and they are playing gin rummy among the molten lava of Hades. I have traveled all around the world, this delighting no. young and old with all manner of feats. This is great. I love this. But not are as dangerous as what I am prepared Is he going to catch a bullet? Tonight, I will hand this Didi Packenbush revolver over to my assistant and stand at considerable distance across the stage. This is the best she show I've will seen. point the revolver at my head, <clears throat> pull the trigger, using lightning quick reflexes taught to me by a tiny man I All met right. in the distant orient. I will catch the bullet. In my teeth. Cool. They used to have shows exactly like this, these vaudeville shows, and they would have bullet catching magicians. These are indeed live rounds. If my sharpshooting assistant would be so kind as to shoot this bottle of Lalicola off my head. <laughs> Arthur is such a buffoon sometimes. Off my head. Careful. I could do without a bullet in the brain right now. Okay. Jesus Christ. Damn! That bit always scares me. <laughs> now, observe as I, the great Benjamin Lazarus, will do what no man has ever done. I wonder how long this whole show is. As if it were nothing. <clears throat> Amazing! See, there was a blank in the gun. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. <laughs> Let's do that again. Yeah. Hmm? Do it. Hmm. Take it. They're obviously blanks. It's a trick. You're pulling my leg. This is a bunch of. Dang balderdash! Ah. <laughs> a skeptic. Hmm? Ah. And Benjamin Lazarus. I assure you, I am not participating in some Let's hoax or carnival ruse. These bullets are 100% real. Nope, I don't in believe fact, it. I challenge any member of the audience yeah. to come forward with their own firearm. Oh, can I do it? Can I do it? Again, display my uncanny skill to catch a bullet. In my teeth. This is so. I want to do it. I'll is come no forward. One man enough? I'm coming. I'm coming. All right. Fantastic. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I will prove to you I am the greatest entertainer to ever live and the only man who laughs at death. Now, ready? Take care. Aren't I supposed- I thought I was going to be able to do it with my own firearm. Me? Right now? Okay. <laughs> Here we go. This could go very poorly. I have real bullets in here. 
waiting. Okay, okay. How did you do that? <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah! You see what I did? How the hell did he do? Uh, well, I mean, <laughs> obviously he didn't do anything because it's just a video game. But, uh, okay. But it made me think that he did something, even though I'm just watching a guy in a video game. Satisfaction. He certainly does. Me. Now, I discovered this next remarkable woman. I'm keeping. I'm still watching this. Jungle, deep in the wilds of Colombia, where they do not wear clothes. She breathes fire. Yes, she does. And for those with the universal and not unworthy curiosity, yes, I can attest, she does emit fire from almost That's every it. orifice in her body. <laughs> every orifice. <laughs> Presenting Antoinette San Servino. Okay, I think she's the headliner. Come on. Let's see it. That's so great. Like when I shot the dude with my gun. The, they've done such a good job with this game that I was amazed that the guy caught the bullet or that he made it seem as though he caught the bullet when I knew it was a real bullet. But obviously it's a video game and it's not a real bullet and it's just, it's a bunch of code in a computer. Like, I don't know, it was just, this game does an amazing job of immersion. Okay, so she's a fire eater. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. Just so well done. You're beautiful. Arthur likes this. Let's do one antagonistic cheer here. You belong in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Get it? Hot. Let's throw a little pepper in with all that sugar. Or salt with all the sugar. Give us a refund. Make up your mind, Arthur. This is the best. Arthur is being charmed by the bright lights of the city. Yeah, oh, here she goes. She's going to blow fire. This is so good. This looks so real. Hey! I am pressing the button to cheer when Arthur is cheering. Yeah, baby! Yeah, baby! More, more, more. Give us some more. What if her costume accidentally bursts into flames and she's forced to remove it? I like hot things too. <laughs> oh! This was the height of entertainment those days. I mean, I guess there were plays and chamber music and things like that, or full orchestras, but for the common man, this kind of show, this was it. And I think it's pretty entertaining. I think I would have been pretty happy with this. Oh, wonderful. Oh, 
Incredible. It's still hot in here, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Incredible. Bravo. Though I must warn you, court her at your peril. Who can I court her? She'll not nurse babies. She'd turn them into bacon. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. He liked that joke. Yes. <laughs> hey, me. I discovered this oh, man, it's still going. in the kingdom of yeah, Poland. Good. Where she sang by the roadside, subsisting on coppers tossed at her feet. Miss Robin Koninsky. Yeah. Mate. All right. We'll stay for one more performer and then we'll take off. Oh, cool. Is she going to sing? for joining us today. This here was a new song about a so-called modern improvement you may have become aware of called the telephone. Oh. This new machine will carry a facsimile of your voice from Blackwater to Valentine to San Denis, and they propose to distribute them to all manner of places so that no matter where you are, somebody is looking for you. A wise man prayed that one day we may all eventually be gathered together in a heaven of everlasting rest and peace and bliss. Except for the inventor of the telephone. Because someone is always calling, saying, Hello! Hello! Hello. I've got a little baby, but he's out of sight. Okay, this is totally anachronistic. Is this is like jazz from the 20s. We'll allow it. Yeah, there was no... Music was not like this in 1899. Yeah. Alright. You had me, then you lost me. Hello, my ragtime gal. I'm going to look that up. I don't think that song existed in 1899. Can I leave? They've locked the doors. They won't let us leave. We're a captive audience. I want to go see if that firewoman's available to talk to. How the hell do I get out of here? Ah, oh, there we go. Hello, my honey. Hello, my baby. Hello, my ragtime girl. Blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> Where's the firewoman? All right, gang. Well, that was fun. I enjoyed that quite a bit. I hope you enjoyed the show as well. Uh, next time, we'll go talk to the doctor. We'll try to finish up some of these little side quests, and then we'll get back to the main story. But until next time, until we meet again, give me that firewoman. I've been a good friend, Bradley. You've been the eyes of the blaze. I'll see you later. Fire lady! Come on, Arthur. You gotta find her. She's beautiful. She's so hot. My ragtime gal.